Well, 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 your first well. award with Access to Music. Thank you so much. Pleasure. And have you enjoyed it? It's been amazing, actually. I mean, the performances were great and, you know, such a breadth of, of music and, and loads of talent on stage, which is always really exciting. And they seem like a lovely bunch as well, didn't they? Which is which is great. It's all well and good giving awards out, but it's even nicer when they can be to people who, are, who seem genuinely kind of sweet and excited. So it's yeah, been lovely. Cool. Yeah. Do you think it's important to actually celebrate? I mean, this, the whole point for this uh, awards was to make it a glitzy, as you've seen tonight, a glitzy award ceremony that, you know, that sometimes it's only the stars that actually get the opportunity to do that. Do you think it's worthwhile actually put an event like this on? Of course, yeah. I mean, I think it's a really nice experience when anybody's worked hard. And, and you know, it's, it's, it's a truism that, that when you're first starting out in this game, that's probably the bit where you work the hardest. So people are really putting, on, put, putting in the legwork to kind of get their foot on the ladder. Um, and it's nice that they're acknowledged before they kind of make it. And then, and then when they do, obviously, like hopefully, the plaudits will come and that's all well and good and stuff. But, I mean, you talk to anyone in a band and the bit that's really, really exciting, I was talking to Alex James from Blur about it the other day, the bit that's most exciting are your first. It's like the first time you hear yourself on the radio, the first time you play a gig, the first time, you know, and this is part of people's first. So right. it's part of yeah. the most exciting part of their career. And they may not think that now. They may right. be sitting there thinking, oh, well, you know, I really want to be selling records or I want to be working in music or whatever you want to do. Um, but actually, this is like a really, really exciting time for them. So. For me, it's, it's, I think it's a brilliant idea. Um, I usually ask every, everybody that comes across, crosses our path, three words that you could give to any um, aspiring musicians or uh, young students, young and old students, because we do have old students as well. Um, three words, non-music related. What would you say to anybody that's is aspiring to have a, a commercial career or just a career three, in music? Three bits of advice. Yeah. Um, have a really good name because that's important. Have a name that's memorable and uh, good and funny, and don't get you know sucked into any really long, complicated things that people won't remember. Uh, and remember something that sounds good in all accents is quite important because <laughs> something can be really funny in Welsh if you're from Wales and then just not work the rest of the places. So have a really good name. Um, I think uh, have fun, which is the most important thing. If you're not enjoying it, then nobody else can go along with you. Um, but thirdly, I would say don't have too much fun. Make the music the most important thing. You know, sometimes you see people play and it's, it's all about the band dynamics and they're, upstage, uh, they're on stage enjoying themselves, but maybe a bit more than the audience. It's always got to be about the song and about making what you do better rather than showing off what you can do. Right, like, yeah. try and think. It's not about what you can do, it's what you should do. Do you know what I mean? So you can do this big, long 20-minute jazz out guitar solo but should you yeah. should you think about it you know how it fits in context with yeah and kind of think you know what choose what you do like yeah. hold your powers back I interviewed Tony Allen who's like the greatest drummer on the planet and uh, he always said you know he never ever plays a drum solo and he can play uh, a different rhythm with every limb he can play four different rhythms at once it's amazing um, but he never plays solos because he thinks it should always be about sitting behind yeah, the music yeah. and I, I think that's quite an interesting attitude and probably will help people I guess so how many was that? One, two. Three. That was three. That was three. Lauren Laverne, it's been a pleasure working with you, and uh, I hope you've had a good time, and uh, I hope you come back next year and, uh, and present for us again. Oh, can't wait. I'll see you then. Brilliant. Thanks very much.